Hello everyone. Uh, today we're going to look at IPI Studio and how I create most of my motion capture. Sometimes I'll make a lot of animations by hand, but uh, to get really good motion capture, you know, you have to use a program like this. Uh, I live in a small apartment. This is my computer room and uh, the image is really dark because I don't really need any lighting and I think I did this pretty late at night one one time so this is the program um, if you see here I'll go through some of the dials and everything so I've loaded in this video so would you go open and then I have a bunch of videos that I've recorded here and processed. So as you can see I have a ton of different videos. So I load up one of the videos and this one I've already gone through and added uh, a bunch of takes where I see uh, the motion fits well and I think I can make a decent stand and here I'll let this um, play through so as you can see I processed the whole video which um, the program does somewhat well but you still will have to go through and uh, make sure things line up right and then if you look on the right side here there's all kinds of different tools you can use to adjust things or smooth things out. As you can see, some of them are more finished than, than others. Um, and I don't always use all the different takes. They're just takes that I see that um, might look good for something. And that's me standing there, of course, doing all these motions. I'll just turn the depth on. And you can see what uh, I use two Kinect cameras to do this. And I'll show you both angles. See, I have one angle that's up pretty high. And then I have uh, another angle that comes at me from the side. And with two cameras, you pretty much get a full 360 view. And I'll add the skin. We'll take away the depth. And now we'll look at it from both angles. And I can turn this all the way up. And on the side, off to the right here, I have a character that I imported from... Daz Studio. Now for whatever reason uh, the texture never ends up showing up right but the only reason I bring them in here is to look at the motion right on the skeleton that or the character that I'm going to use. So and right now I have them standing side by side. So we'll take and we'll overlay the character that I imported and then we'll get rid of the default uh, skin and now we'll look at one of the animations that I've kind of finished up now all of these animations I've already made for uh, Second Life for these zombie movements but now I'm adjusting it for Daz Studio so we'll let this play. And as you can see, the character is just kind of reaching out, trying to swipe at someone. And we'll look at it from a different angle. And you can see it moving exactly the way my body is moving. Yeah, but that's uh, that's basically IPI Studio how um, I basically do things and then when I'm done with the whole animation uh, you know I import the character make sure it looks good uh, I'll usually put a smoothing of about three 
that gets rid of most the most of the little jitters. Um, you don't want to turn the smoothing up too high or you'll ruin uh, a lot of the detail. And then when I'm all done with this animation I export it into a folder and then I'll open it up in IPI. So I've already saved it and everything so let's look at it in IPI or in Daz Studio. I mean. Okay so now we're in uh, Daz Studio we have the default uh, Genesis character and I'm gonna go down and put a, put a zombie skin on him so now we have the zombie skin. I'm going to um, adjust him a little bit so he looks a little more zombie-ish. So that looks pretty good. And I'm going to turn off the limits on all these bones. So I'm selecting all the bones. And then I'll go to figure limits and then turn them all off. Okay, so now we have the zombie. We need to import the animation that I just made. So there's the animation. Um, everything is set. So now it imports this animation frame by frame take a little less than a minute. So now we have our motion capture animation on our Daz Studio Zombie. So now I'm, gonna, I'm going to take this, maybe clean it up a little. I will have to um, animate the hands and the face because the motion capture program won't do that. I'll probably do a little adjustment on the feet and then clean up anything that looks uh, not so smooth or um, uh, something's out of place or if something a hand goes through the body or something like that. But that's basically it. I'll make probably make some anti blocks uh, for this zombie and hopefully I'll get this uh, zombie done before the end of the week definitely before Halloween so uh, there's a quick look at how I make motion capture and uh, 